So through the PhD process, the most important thing, and I think a lot of people kind of wonder like, why would I go and do my PhD after inventing the thing? Well, the reason was I needed to be able to communicate how it worked in an academic manner. And if you, if you follow other influential people who write papers like Menno Henselman's or Dr. Milo Wolf, when you look at their papers, you don't just fall out of bed one day and write a paper like that. You gotta understand a lot about statistics, not just how to do the statistics, but what they actually mean and how meaningful they are in a larger conversation about the subject. Because I think sometimes people get distracted, they see one study and they say, okay, how does this study change my training? or change my nutrition or change my life. That's not really the way to look at it. Each individual study is an experiment where they did one thing to one group and did another thing to another group and then we look at the two differences, typically what, what they're doing. Sometimes you can use as a control population data that has previously been published or, or whatever. So they're not all set up exactly the same. Every study is really an experiment with a particular group of people and it doesn't necessarily reflect on the entire population. 